But first, Polypedal, an annual event founded by Tony Abbott in 1998. It's raised over $7 million for a whole lot of charities, including Ronald McDonald House, Soldier On, Carers Australia, and now the veteran support group Wandering Warriors. This year's event is currently underway, participants cycling over 1,000 kilometres to support Special Forces veterans and their families. I'm pleased to say the former Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, joins me, the Shadow Treasurer, Angus Taylor, and ex-Special Forces veteran, Quentin Masson, live now from Armidale. Well, uh, wounded men, you probably are, having just got off the bike this afternoon. I'll start with you, if I can, Tony Abbott. Um, you love getting on this bike to support a cause. Wandering mm -hmm. warriors, why were they chosen? How's the ride going? And how's your body holding up? Well, look, Peter, after uh, 26 years of this, uh, it does get a little harder. But uh, inspired by people like Quentin and accompanied by people like Angus, uh, it's, uh, it's still very good to do. Um, I started this thing because uh, I thought that it was good for people like me uh, to get out into the real world, to get out of your white cars, to get out of your suits, to get out of your offices. And uh, for me, it's always been an important part of my year. And long may it be the case, but to raise money for our Special Forces veterans, I think is just about the best thing you could possibly do. Well, Angus, it wouldn't be polypedal if we didn't have a poly. We've got an ex-poly, but we've got a poly in you, obviously. You've taken over the, mm. the mantle here. Uh, why'd you choose this route and why'd you choose this charity? Well, on the charity, very much as Tony said, it's just an incredible cause, uh, supporting our Special Forces veterans as they go out into civilian life. It can be very tough. Quentin has, I think, led that work from Wandering Warriors incredibly ably, uh, and with a particular focus on education. So a wonderful, wonderful cause. Um, uh, why did we pick this route? Um, well, it's a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. We're here in Armidale. We've ridden from Tamworth today. Um, and I've got to say, the country is looking spectacular. Armidale was spectacular to ride into today. And we get to meet uh, people in an environment where we wouldn't normally meet them, uh, Peter. And I love getting out to country towns. I grew up in one and, and, and live near one. And uh, it's just a great chance to, to meet Australians in their own setting. I'm just looking at that map and I remember this ride at a previous year. And I think that Armidale to Dorigo leg has got... Uh, plenty of gradient in it, so you'll all have an early night. Hey, Quentin, tell us about the work of Wandering Warriors. How, how did you get involved? And, and tell me what the work means for, for people that you support. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, it was a pretty tough day. Uh, some steep gradients today. Uh, Wandering Warriors is a national uh, veterans charity, and we focus on education, as Angus mentioned. Uh, that's our primary focus. And we're supporting Special Forces veterans as they transition out, uh, providing education with uh, partnership with some of our uh, leading institutions, uh, universities and training institutions across Australia. Uh, to give a veteran an education as they transition out is really setting them up for success as they transition out of uh, what can be an arduous time, especially the last few decades. We've seen a significant amount of uh, deployments and operational service from Army, Air Force and Navy. And we're just really uh, focused on providing some support services as they transition out. Uh, to try and give them the best chance as they transition into civilian life. Tony, I know you said that you, you founded this to get out and get amongst real people. What are they telling you as you're getting around on the road now? I'm interested, you know, we're not far from an election. What are they saying to you? Mm -hmm. Well, I've always tried not to be too political on this ride, but inevitably uh, you do get people say to you, uh, uh, what's wrong in Canberra? Uh, why aren't things getting done better? Um, why are we going backwards? Uh, why is everything costing too much? So, look, uh, I think that obviously Angus and Peter Dutton can be very encouraged by the response we're getting. But overall, uh, because they know this is a charity bike ride, they want to say, good on you. Mm. And, uh, and how can we help? Mm. And hopefully you might put the link up, Peter, so that if anyone does want to help, we have. Always the good. boss telling the and chief of staff what to do anyway. Hey, uh, and just... If, and, and, and if I could <laughs> donate to me and not him, OK? Oh. <laughs> Wanderingwarriors.org. Yeah, no worries. That's where you need to go and you can donate to any one of us. <laughs>